Welcome to the latest in PD Research 2023 with Jeff Ronstein, MD, PhD. He's the Director of Movement Disorders Program at UCLA Health. This is a five-minute summary. The original presentation was one hour long. This will provide you with the key takeaways from the presentation. If you're intrigued by what you've learned in the summary, please watch the original. The link is below. You'll find that navigation is very easy. Simply click on the timestamp for the subject that you're interested in, and it will take you to that exact part in the presentation. Parkinson's disease starts with the loss of dopamine-producing cells. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Let Dr. Bronstein help you understand the deeper framework of the disease. The culprit here is alpha-synuclein. Although the discovery of the critical role of alpha-synuclein in the pathogenesis of Parkinson's is now 25 years old, it still represents a milestone in PD research. It clumps together to form Lewy bodies, pictured here, and those Lewy bodies kill neurons. Parkinson's is a progressive disease, and alpha-synuclein pathology is also progressive. This takes us to Bracks hypothesis, which is essentially that PD starts in the gut. Alpha-synuclein is like any pathology, that is, it spreads. It travels from the gut, up through the vagus nerve, into the brain stem. Parkinson's disease varies widely among individuals. Symptoms depend on what part of the nervous system is involved. The Parkinson's disease process can span decades. It's often been in the body for a good 10 years before it ever gets clinically diagnosed. So, what starts the process leading to Parkinson's disease? Dr. Bronstein tells us that only approximately 30% of PD can be explained by genetics. That leaves the environment as a chief culprit. Currently, there's a lot of research going on in what genes cause Parkinson's. Other than genetics, there are a number of other factors associated with higher risk of PD. Let's listen to Dr. Bronstein in his own words explain disease pathways. So we've learned a lot about what these mutations do. We've learned about some of these toxins do. And this is a kind of a summary that cartoon that I've come up with, which kind of summarizes it because this is how we attack um, uh, the disease process. Uh, if we understand how it, what happens on a molecular basis, we can target that for treatment. Current research has led to some promising diagnostic tools, including a skin biopsy for Parkinson's. There are drugs now in trials that break down the alpha-synuclein clumps. Prothena is one such drug. It is designed to block the cell-to-cell -cell transmission that happens from an infected cell to a normal cell. If you're looking for something that you have right now that you can use to modify PD, it's exercise. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Exercise increases dopamine signaling. You can easily do your own Google search on exercise in PD. Bronstein covers other promising symptomatic therapies as well, such as continuous levodopa delivery, closed-loop DBS, and stem cell transplant. Watch the full presentation. Remember, you can jump to any particular part that you want to see and learn more.